Wait, I'm- I'm actually lost on my own island. Just realized I couldn't get through here. Alright. Back the other way. But I wanted to start off this, um, this- this video because I- I saw that there was a campsite villager and I- I didn't want to wait, so we're gonna actually check out who our campsite villager is first. So, let's go in. Oh, wait, is this Mira? Wow, okay. That's a pretty- that's a pretty good villager. Say like B tier villager. Not a villager I would keep, but um oh god. The eyes kinda scare me, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe not. <laughs> I do like the super superhero outfit. Just 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 look at the eyes. L look look at it. Look look at it stare into your soul. Mira. Oh she just she just left. Alright. Okay. We're we're just gonna leave too then. Fine then. I see how it is. Don't talk to me then. All right. Anyways, uh, welcome back, everyone. And wait, no, that's not my intro. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Mochi Gaming. Today, we're gonna do another Let's Play video because um, why not? And honestly, guys, I'm kind of running out of ideas, and I just like Let's Play videos. So we're gonna do Let's Play videos. Oh my God, Sherb! Look at him. His winter coat is so cute. I'm sorry, Raymond. Sherb's cuter than you. But I do like your house, so you stay on my island, I guess. Oh, Sherb. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Back back to our back to our main topic of the day. Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be kind of um I guess renovating our residential area. Even though I don't think this is renovation, I think this is just like kind of redoing my residential area or like just doing it to begin with because i've never really finished it anyways um <laughs> i i'm gonna do my residential area today so we're gonna be time traveling a lot today and um just getting all my houses in so you guys can see what it looks like and yeah so we should probably go talk to tom nook for now so that we could get our a uh, housing pack in if i could just drop something who needs softwood Bye bye uh, we're gonna go to Tom Nook, uh, ask to move a villager around, and then we will be doing that basically the whole time. And I'll show you guys what my kind of villagers or my houses look like while we're at that, or my residential area. Residential area, yes. Alright, we are at my residential area, so this is kind of the generic layout that I have right now. And if you guys want to follow this, this is a grid-like system. This is... A six by six per house so this actually is a six by twelve because we have two houses that are gonna sit here as well as on the other side and we just have this full shebang of an area to do and of course I need my little coffee spots because what else can you do with a European island <laughs> anyways um, I have Ruby here so we're gonna drop Ruby into her place just like that we have completed our first move in we're gonna time travel to our next day and just repeat this process for um a very long amount of time i will see you guys on the next day and just like that zell is also moved in let's hop on to the next day it's a little snowy today but maple is moved in so on to the next day Alrighty, Whitney's house is also in. Oh my god, with Whitney's house in, our first row is complete. And like that, Goldie's house is moved in and we've started on the second row. And that's Zucker. Alright guys, we are on our final house. This is Davi's house. And his house is placed very, very awkwardly. Where if I go right here, where I'm supposed to put his house down, it doesn't give me enough space because they're too close to each other so i i have to move his house somewhere else and then remove it here which will cost me an extra 50k bells oh my god but let's go do that so i'll see you guys once i am all done all right we're finally finally done after 400k bells and um i think 
eight to nine days of time traveling we are finally done putting all the villagers in and i'm going to time travel one more day so that we have dobby moved in and you guys can actually see him and then we will start the actual kind of decorating process but i'm so excited for this uh this looks really really good right now and if you guys noticed i actually stagnated a lot of the houses I should have stagnated this one with um with Godi's house but then I didn't realize that they didn't or they looked the same until now and Raymond and what is this this is Ruby's house they look the same so I think overall this turned out pretty nice so let's go on to the next day I think I accidentally traveled back a month instead of forward a month and oh my god there's gonna be so much weeds when I come back. All right, let's go forward a month. Yep, I I time traveled for a month. Oh my god, the amount of roaches in my house now. Okay, so this is the day after where Dobby was supposed to come in. Maybe I shouldn't have time traveled a whole month, and maybe I should have just time traveled a little bit over, because now it looks super gloomy and sad and depressed all day. But we did get a campsite villager today, so we are going to check out who we got, just like the beginning of this video. This video might as well be a villager hunt video, because there's so many campsite villagers <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> and let's check it out. Who do you guys predict we get? I'm gonna predict it's a it's a it's a cow, because I always get cows. But oh, J.K. It, it's a piggy. I feel like I've gotten her so many times. Oh my god. Okay, no, we we're, we're leaving. God. Okay. So I have finished moving in everyone onto my island, and we are now going to start decorating. But I think I'm gonna skip one more day because. It's just so gloomy looking. But before we get to that, we need to buy some lamp posts. We're gonna, we're gonna do some shopping on my nook stop shop. Nook nook stop shop. Yep. And nook shopping. Oh wait, J JK, this is this is not it. Scratch that. We're just gonna go. I'll I'll, I'll meet you guys on the next day. <laughs> Look at how bright it is today. Oh my god, what a perfect day to be out. So we're actually gonna just take my um okay not not the present but we should we should drop that just my mailbox i have a lot of things in my mailbox so we might as well just take it with us and try to decorate with it so yeah if you guys order a lot of things and you just don't want to put it all in your inventory and just leave it in your mailbox and you want to decorate where you are then just take your mailbox with you because why not you can't do that in real life but you can do that in animal crossing so I'm just gonna plop my mailbox right here and we're gonna do that right after but for now i think first off we should probably finish off the road and make it look all pretty and cute before we do anything else so i'm gonna get started on that and like that we are done with the pathing so this is all our pathing i think it looks really nice because it's really really spread out let's take a look at my map because i haven't gotten to look at that yet wow this is actually it looks really really organized so we do still have two more villager houses on the side but we're gonna put them somewhere else for now this is our main little village of villagers village of villagers that's kind of cute so i did order up a lot of the poles if we can just get to our mailbox so i have <laughs> a lot of the nook mall tickets sent me um or the nook mallage program sent me just like a lot of what you might call it like poles pole street lamps street lamps oh my god this this is so bad <laughs> okay I, I guess we're we're opening up two at a time because i don't have enough space for this guys if you're if you're decorating clear clear your spaces because don't be like me <laughs> okay so we're gonna put them at the corner which i think looks the nicest and this is kind of how i'm imagining it to look like oh god my my mailbox is kind of in the way but it's okay we can pick it up and put it somewhere else we're just gonna put it in the middle of the street because why not <laughs> So I just have a lot of these little um, street lamps to put around. We could also put other things like lamp posts, or not lamp posts because this is a lamp post. Um, but we could put things like a 
manhole cover which i bought the ticket for or the recipe for just a bit ago so we could learn that recipe right now and this is what it looks like i love how it's like right on the corner i might change it a little bit make it a different color or something not a fan of the color i don't like the white but it's the only one i have so we're gonna have to go with white and let's see for manhole cover learn and we have learned it so i'm gonna go grab more things from my inventory or from from my bag i guess or my my home so that i can actually decorate this place because it looks a little desolate but other than that oh this is so cute look at my villagers chatting because they're all here Oh my god that's adorable and also like this features a little bit of a plaza down here which i think will look it's, it's just all so cute oh my god y'all this makes me so happy but i'm gonna go back and get me some things we can decorate with and i will be right back all right guys i am back and it took a little bit longer than i thought but i have a good amount of things to decorate with so first off, I'm going to put these manhole covers down because um, they look good and oh my god, they're going to be so hard to put down. They're just like street lights or the lamps or what are they called? Like, like floor lamps? Yes, floor lamps. Oh god, this is going to be so annoying to put down, but hopefully, hopefully not too much. So we're going to put another one down. I made two because why not? and we're just gonna put them like kind of at the beginning of the street so if i could just find my second one i swear to god i just spent like half of the time on these videos just trying to find where my items are because i am so unorganized but that's kind of how it looks i really like it i think i might end up like making three so that i could put them all over here but for now this will do and i did push up the lamps just a little bit so that i could put like bushes around here and you know my obsession with bushes gotta put them everywhere okay and on this side too i'm gonna add another bush so we can put this other tea leaf olive thingy bush over here i do want it to be a little off so i might put it on this side instead but with that done i'm gonna put some other things around like um i don't know what is in here <laughs> but i do have other things like the monstras uh the plants a lot of this is going to be very plant based because i feel like plants make everything look so much nicer and we're actually gonna coat the bottom of or coat put the bottom of these houses as like a little entrance way because you know you gotta have some contrast oh god the plants in the way why 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 didn't i think of doing this beforehand but it's okay <laughs> it's it's the process oh my god this this process is making me angry oh my god okay nope i'm not gonna get mad today <sighs> But yep, we're just gonna kind of round out the edges as well as on this side too. And then on these, we're gonna put some like kind of scattered-ish or whatever kind of planky looking thing we want. I honestly don't know what to put. I've seen other people like put other things. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay then. All right, wrong thing, redo. <laughs> um, I've de definitely seen like people use other things, but we will we will use hmm this is hard i kind of like all of them maybe we'll use this i i know that it's like it matches the the stuff but i feel like we could we could change it up later i definitely want it to be kind of like scattered plotty and maybe we should do that afterwards but this is what it looks like i think it has like a nice little little contour towards all the white on the ground and eventually all the green on the ground but this is what it looks like for now and we can drop some other stuff on the side so we'll have maple like some telescoping and looking at stars because stargazing is just wonderful and magnificent oh i'm sorry whitney i'm, I'm bothering you but it's okay and just like that wow wait no that's like looking at you do you feel stared at that's kind of creepy huh <laughs> but um on this side i'm gonna actually add a tree so i'm gonna put like kind of a 
placeholder right here for a tree. I don't know what kind of tree I want. I definitely like more lean more towards these ones, which is the hardwood trees rather than the cedar trees because I feel like cedar trees are more like naturey and forested. So yeah, but I also have a bike in here. If I could find the mountain bike on the side, it's gonna look so cute right there. Maybe we should lean it the other way, but I mean, it's starting to like fill up the space and the emptiness up here. Never mind. Maple doesn't like watching stars. We're gonna give her a tiny library because it's cuter. All right. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay. Yep. That's definitely her vibe. I think Maple would enjoy some books to kind of sit around and look at. And we can drop a pile of leaves for no reason because there there's no trees or anything. I. I don't know, this really doesn't make sense, but it's okay. <laughs> and we have a lot of other stuff that we can put down, like a phone box for, for no particular reason. Maybe we can put it at the end. I feel like phone boxes usually just appear like at the end of like a little hallway or something. What a snack machine right here. If like we can just scoot that in. This, this makes no sense because honestly, you can't even see what it is. <laughs> Oh my god, this is such a mess. What is this? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I can I can try this again. Snack machine, but on the side because then you can actually see something and not nothing. Oh no, that feels that feels too cramped. Maybe maybe on the side of the street. Maybe Zell. Oh my god, my my business boy Zell, my fancy business boy. Maybe he can do this. And right up on his house. Yep, we're just gonna have Zell do that. Have a little bit of pizzazz to his house where he's gonna sell items so that he can make some money and afford his bougie, bougie lifestyle. <laughs> bougie lifestyle. <laughs> Zell's lifestyle is very bougie. And of course, on Zell's side too, we're gonna also add the path down. And I'm gonna actually try the stone with this one. The the one we usually use on the side because I feel like it could provide some contrast which would be nice and we're just gonna fill that in wow this looks amazing I I think honestly I I've been procrastinating a lot on this side but uh, on this whole residential area but it, it's turning out pretty good it's turning out pretty good <laughs> so we're gonna put that down spot that all down I actually like this maybe a little better than the other one because this provides a more of a contrast towards like the actual road maybe we should do that eh we can figure it out okay one more one more try we we, we can try this oh it won't let me do this without pushing the pushing 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 the <laughs> plant out so we're gonna push the plant out a little bit and try that again oh there's something in my eye not not in game but like in person oh my god i don't know what's wrong with me um okay that done pretty good honestly actually though on this side i might like the other one a little better i think it just depends on the coloring of the house and how much it contrasts with everything and we can put i was thinking like a flower or something maybe just something at least i have no idea and we can make a little bit of a stone path towards their house because why not oh my god why is this such a struggle and oh this is just being blocked by this okay new plan scoop this out first <laughs> i don't know why these keep showing up now like i i don't know i guess they just continue to show up i wish you could like turn off certain things like the fossils it gets so annoying when you're uh when you're like at end game you've collected all the fossils and they just keep popping up on all your builds it's not funny nor is it cute nintendo stop it's not cute at all <laughs> okay and then we can do the same thing on this other side we could also put some other custom designs down so that they don't look so empty like here we could put down um what could we put down here to make it look cute we could put down like flowers on the bottom or something this is very filled like very very filled flowers but 
I think it's okay. It should be fine. Because we're, we're putting something on top of it to kind of hide the mess of the flower. <laughs> Can you guys tell? I'm just like doing whatever. <laughs> but... Oh, no, no, no. That That's not okay. Is that okay? No, that's not okay. That's too, that's too, like, it's too in your facey. So we're gonna go with something lighter. I think we're actually gonna replace all the flowers. I don't like the, I don't like it on my island all, all that much or my custom design. I think that custom design slot can very much be given to some something else that deserves it a little bit more. <laughs> so that goes there and I actually really like that. And over here, I think we can put something else. Like a... Ooh, what can we put here? What what else do we even have? We, we don't have much, honestly. Oh, a u utility pool? Oh, yep. Zell's the only one running a utility pool because he needs it for his convenience shop. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. This is... Honestly, this is turning out not too bad. It's it's not as bad as I thought it would turn out. <laughs> it's just the random things, random things everywhere. So we're gonna put down these two because I have um, I need to do this. I I have a lot of iron iron garden chairs and everything because you can never have enough of these. Why? Because this is a European island and there's just cafes everywhere. Because why not? It's probably not true. Like actual europe probably don't have this much cafes but if you're going for that european island aesthetic oh my god whitney's sitting in seats and not actually just sitting on the ground like villagers do all the time but i also do have a stall if i could find it and i've made that and now they have a stall to like buy things off of too and this is so nice like i think just overall browniness looks so good with the with the european cottage like cottage european stony look stony stoners oh god this is family friendly i swear to god <laughs> um okay uh what, what what was i doing what did i need another another chair oh there's there's the chair i'm not struggling at all i promised i i promise <laughs> Okay, this is on this side, and I also have a street organ that I feel like would look very nice on this side. Because it's just like a nice little filler box to the side, and this side doesn't have anything, so I think it'll be cute. And over, yep, right there. And people can come and watch the street organ because it's so cute. And this is kind of what the street looks like for now. We might add a phone box to the end because why not? Where's my phone box? Damn, I used up all my things already? Oh, this is going by too fast. Like, there's never enough items. I used to think I have too many things in my inventory until I realized how many things goes into decorating an island. <laughs> okay, so cotton candy stall down because why not? I, I'm just saying why not now, like, every single time. But it's okay because, oh my god, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> oh god okay what what am i looking for a park clock I and mean, we could we could go with that that looks cute i think kind of question mark we also have these like benches that i had in my inventory for a while that i feel like could be very much used here and we have a phone box because we need a phone box <laughs> i feel like the 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 stuff should go better with the phone box Oh, no, no, no. Yes, that that's it. The... what What is this called? A park clock would go next to the phone box. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my god. All we need now... I, I hope that didn't affect my mic. I just hit my table and then my mic wobbled. <laughs> but now all we need is like a little bench on this side and then we've completed this little area. And I don't know what this little area is for, but it's cute, I think mark i hope festive tree i don't think i have enough room for this we could put a festive tree in the middle of like zell and ruby's house because i guess they like christmas or something <laughs> there you go just a random little tree right there but i think 
this looks pretty good i'm gonna add some finishing touches and then i'll show you guys what i have like overall and then i think that's all the time we have today in this video so let's get on to that all right i'm back after so long this took a long time actually i didn't think that it was gonna take all that long but decorating small little places like a villager house areas are actually super hard but i did manage to finish three houses with a lot of i think i managed to like use two almost two inventories worth of things and this was only three villager houses but as you guys can see i kind of scattered around some naturey elements like trees and bushes and some flowers as long as like as well as like a lot of plotted plants and things like that so i have all of this here and then this was the bench that i was talking about that i thought fit it looks like you're waiting for a train something like that you have a little bit of a concession stand right here as well as my coffee spot so this is basically my villager area as of now i think it looks really good like just looking at it from here it looks like an actual little kind of villagey type of vibe but i'm gonna do more over here and as well as over here and make it look all good and cohesive and everything so if you guys are interested in that be sure to comment down below and let me know to do a part two on this and just finish off the build but other than that thank you guys all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and probably next video i'm hoping on going another villager hunt because i still haven't gotten my um villager hunt thirst out because i only got to do two villagers or two tickets in last time so let me know if you guys want to see that and with that being said thank you guys all so much for watching and i'll see you guys all next time be sure to subscribe like and comment down below all right that's all for today bye bye